About a week ago, I tried four different hair masks to help cut down on breakages, hair sheddings, treat dandruff and itchy scalp due to dryness, stimulate hair growth and to improve the overall health of my hair because my hair was going through a lot at that time. So I did a hydrating hair mask using okra which did wonders to my hair. The video is already out just in case you're wondering so you can go check it out. It turned out really really nice and my hair really liked it. I also did a high protein mask using black rice which turned out really nice as well. I actually added other products, the video is also out. Then I did a high cholesterol hair mask using melon seed. Yeah, it was actually a very, very good hair mask. I didn't expect it to turn out the way it did and it did. And today I am here with my fourth hair mask. If this is the kind of video you think you'll be interested in, then let's just jump right into the main video. Number one, oat. According to research, oat can prevent hair fall and improve hair growth due to its rich fiber content. Two, fenugreek. Fenugreek is a rich source of iron and protein. It also contains some anti-inflammatory properties, which helps to treat scalp infection and dandruff. Three, flaxseed, which strengthens hair from roots and reduces hair thinning. Four, beta cola. It promotes blood circulation, which nourishes the hair follicles and promotes hair growth. It also treats scalp irritation, infection, and itchiness. Now that we have all four ingredients, we are going to boil for a few minutes. So boiling all four ingredients is the best way to actually get the viscosity of all the ingredients put together. It's also going to help uh, release all the nutrients into our fluid because that is what we will be working with. It's no news that oat, flaxseed and fenugreek have some level of viscosity. So you have to keep stirring so it won't stick to your pot. Oh yeah, I forgot to say hi. Please, if this is your first time on this channel or if you're a returnee, you're welcome. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share these videos if you can because this is one of the ways YouTube is going to promote my videos. So yeah, thank you. Now that we're done boiling our mix together, we're going to proceed to sieving. So I'll be using my wig cap for this, you can use whatever you have, just do you, but it's best you sieve this when it's still warm, maybe not too hot, but when it's warm, because flaxseed tends to gel out really, really fast. Like I said, flaxseed tends to gel up really, really fast, especially when it's cold and it becomes really, really difficult to separate the gel from the seed. You should actually squeeze it when it's warm, maybe not hot, but when it's warm so you don't um, burn your hands while doing it. Like I shared with you guys, I decided to use uh, these ingredients because of all the benefits you can get from using them. All three ingredients, that's the oat, the flaxseed and fenugreek will help with um, split ends because they contain some level of vitamins and minerals and all the viscosity you can get with, will also help to you know uh, smoothen your hair we're also going to be adding some aloe vera this is how i like to extract my own aloe vera gel like i always say do you do whatever works for you Aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals. It is rich in fatty acid, amino acid, uh, vitamin A, B12. It also reduces hair fall and also promotes the overall health of your hair. Next, we're going to be adding some lemons. Lemons are rich in antioxidants, essential vitamins and citric acid, which helps to balance the pH of the scalp to keep dandruff at bay. 
so we're going to squeeze our lemon and also sieve out all the beets now that we have almost all our ingredients um, ready we're going to proceed to mixing this is our oatmeal beta cola uh, flaxseed and fenugreek gel now we're going to be adding our aloe vera gel into the mix as well you can choose to use water but i decided to use aloe vera and this is our lemon juice like i said you can use water if you don't have access to lemon or aloe vera i'm also going to be adding some honey honey has both emollient and humectant properties which makes it a good moisturizer the emollient property helps to smoothen the hair follicles and adds shine. It also helps to reduce breakages by strengthening your hair strands. Next, we're going to be adding some olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I decided to use olive oil because it's going to help condition the hair. And finally, we're going to be adding some tea tree oil. Tea tree has some antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory properties which helps to treat dandruff, itchy scalp, and any other hair infection. It also helps to boost hair growth, treat um, head lice, uh, you know, it also helps to treat irritation, all those um, dry scalp that causes skin flakes. Tea tree oil is going to help with that. So you're going to mix it very very well and then you apply so i'm going to show you guys how i am um, applying this to my hair as you guys can see this is what my hair is looking like before application like i said my hair was going through a lot because the weather was dry and my hair was kind of breaking i was shedding i had few um dry scalp my hair was really really dry and i needed something you know to help revive my hair even my edges were crying so i made this really really cool hairstyle that affected my edges that's why my edges are looking the way they are but yeah i'm working on it like I said in the beginning of this video, I made four different hair masks. This is actually the fourth mask I made. So I made the first hair mask using okra. We all know that okra has high level of viscosity and moisture. So imagine that on your hair, how your curl pattern is going to pop and all of that. Guys, you should go check out that video. It actually turned out way better than I expected. Then I now made the second hair mask using black rice. I decided to use black rice because of all the mineral contents it has. It actually has more mineral contents than the white rice and the red rice which uh, makes it more superior. Although you can use any rice you have available, you actually do not need to buy the black rice but it's just that the black rice has more mineral content and for my third mask i did a high cholesterol uh, hair mask using melon seed i actually used the milk um you guys should just go check out that video it actually turned out really really good as well you guys should just go check it out after this video or i'm going to insert the link in my icard or my uh, description box you guys should go check it out and finally i am here with the fourth mask you actually do not need to do all four masks these are just options and it's just something i decided to do because my hair was going through a lot like i said and at the end of all four masks my hair was actually doing really really well i enjoyed using every single uh, mask i made um i hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share these videos if you can as always youtube will only promote my videos if you guys like and subscribe to my channel until next time guys see you in my next video
बाय